a Pokemon flavor sensation that needs no introduction. Potion! Now, potions have been around in Pokemon since the very beginning, um, and they're used to heal your Pokemon, and I've always wondered what they were made out of. Now we kind of know if uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus is canon. In the game, a potion, to craft one, uh, you'll need an Oranberry, and you'll need Medicinal Leeks. Now, I don't have a Medicinal Leek. I have berries, but no Leeks. However, I think I did come up with a very good substitute. Anyway, here's how you make it. First goes our water. Oran berries. They look like blueberries, but I assure you they're oran berries. Bring this to a boil. All right, once it's boiling, you want to cover it and simmer it for about half an hour. All right, so you don't have to be nearly as finicky as me, but I'm gonna run this through a fine mesh strainer. And in fact, even kind of finer than a fine mesh strainer, it's a coffee filter. Oh, look, yummy. Thankfully, we're throwing this out. So at the end, you should be left with this gorgeous kind of reddish purple elixir. But this isn't elixir, this is potion, at least the makings of one. So let's get back to making it. The next step is peculiar. We're gonna grab a teapot. You could also use a French press, but when I make whole tea, I usually break out my cast iron teapot. In goes tea and our elixir from before. Still a little bit warm. Once it's simmering, turn off the heat, cover, and let it steep for five. What? Let me zoom out. Five minutes. After five minutes, strain out the leaves. It looks like the tea leaves soaked up a little bit of the liquid, but that's okay. We're gonna top it off with a little bit of water to make sure that it equals one cup. All right, we are in the home stretch. Add your liquid back to the pot. Make sure you cleaned it because there might be seeds at the bottom and you don't want that. And then a cup of sugar. As this comes to a boil, I want you to consider lemon juice or lime. I like a lot of it, so I'm gonna add about a tablespoon, but you can use as little as a couple teaspoons. But like I said, I like it kind of tart. And with fruit, you always kind of want to add a lot of acid because it really makes the sweetness pop. Otherwise it just tastes kind of flat. And we don't want that. We don't want a flat potion. All right, it is boiling. I'm gonna turn off the heat because our sugar is officially dissolved. Stir it to cool it down and then I'm gonna try it. Be very careful, it's hot. And you know what? I'm gonna add a little bit more lemon juice. There's really no wrong way to do this. You can add as much or as little lemon juice as you want, but considering that we're gonna use this as a delicious syrup, I like it nice and tangy. Let this cool down. And actually, I'm gonna transfer it to a measuring cup for easy storing a little bit later. Make sure to spill some on the counter too. I think that helps the flavor. Once your syrup cools down, it'll thicken up considerably. Pour it into a nice jar. Lift it up and store it in the fridge. Potion. Now you're probably wondering, what the heck do I do with it? Well, primarily it can be used as a sauce or a sweetener. As a sauce, it's great on waffles, pancakes, or my favorite, Ice cream, yum. But more often than not, I'm gonna use this as a sweetener. It makes a great afternoon pick-me-up beverage. Just take a cup full of ice, drizzle on a couple tablespoons of your potion, and you can top it off with water or seltzer. Don't forget to stir up. The syrup from the bottom, it will sink into your beverage. Delicious! 
And the cool thing is that because we made it with brewed tea, there's a little bit of caffeine in there too. It's also a great sweetener for hot drinks like coffee and yeah, tea. Hey buddy, I heard you like tea. So we put tea in your tea so you could tea 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 while you tea tea tea. Tea. Potion is yummy. If you like that, check out this. I think you'll like it. In the meantime, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.